Welcome to a quick overview of the Adaptive Interfaces ESM100 electrical system monitor. Right now the instrument is in its normal operating mode where you see a voltage on the upper display and a current on the lower display. Right now the current is showing 22.5 amps and this is a system current or the current measured normally off the master switch of a uh, aircraft. The other current that's available in the normal operating mode is a battery charging current. This is the current that is uh, going from the alternator to the battery to show that the battery is being charged. In this case it's showing 4 amps. Right now we are in the normal operating mode of the instrument and this is noted as being menu level 0 or the main menu. There are three other menu levels on the instrument and we'll go through these right now. To enter menu level 1 you press the function button and hold it in for about five seconds. Now we are in menu level 1. The functions available in menu level 1 are a brightness function which controls the way the display brightness uh, of the digits and the LEDs is controlled. Right now it's being controlled by the front panel. You have choices of front panel, a photo cell, which is on the front of the instrument, and also an external voltage source. So if you had a uh, potentiometer or a control on the instrument panel, you could adjust the display brightness that way. The next function is an auto dim function. Right now it's turned off. An auto dim function works when the instrument is uh, being controlled, the brightness of the instrument is being controlled by the front panel controls. This allows the photo cell to automatically tell the instrument to dim when it's in a low light condition or get brighter when it's in a high light condition, after which you can still use the up down arrows to control the display brightness. Next function is the update period. Right now it's set at one second. That means that as uh, voltages and currents change, the display on the instrument will only update and show those changes once every second. That's to keep the display from flickering and being a bother to the pilot. This can be controlled anywhere from a half a second to five seconds. Next selection, or the next function, is the selection of the type of current sensor used for current sensor 1 or the system current sensor. Two types of sensors can be used with the instrument. One is a Hall effect sensor, which the instrument is set for right now, or a standard 50 millivolt current shunt. The next function is the selection of the type of current sensor for current sensor 2 or the battery current sensor. Right now it's set for a shunt, but it can also be selected as a Hall effect sensor. The next function is a return to main or return to menu level zero function. Press that, it goes back into menu level zero which is the main menu or the normally op normal operating mode of the instrument. Let's go over to uh, menu level two. To do that from the main menu, we hold the function button in for five seconds. We're in menu level one. To get to menu level two, we press the function button and hold it again for five seconds and now we're in menu level two. The different functions in menu level two are as follows. The first function is the shunt value function for the first shunt or the uh, system shunt. The shunt can be selected anywhere from 10 to 100 amps. Right now it's set for a 50 amp shunt. Second function is if you're using a shunt it can go from 0 to 100 amps as well. Right now this is set for a 20 amp shunt. Next function is if you are using a Hall effect current sensor for the system current or uh, sensor number 1. Right now it's set for a 100 amp Hall effect sensor. The instrument is designed to work with a 25, a 50, or a 100 amp sensor. Right now it's set for a 100 amp sensor. Sensor number two is set to be used as a 25 amp Hall effect sensor. But again, you can go through and select between 25, 50, and 100 amp sensors. The next function is an alarm function. This is the voltage alarm. It's set for 11 volts. 
If the system voltage or battery voltage goes below 11 volts, the instrument will go into an alarm condition and it will flash the display on the voltage display and it will also output a signal out the back of the instrument to indicate that there's a uh, alarm condition. Next alarm, or next function, is the system alarm. Right now it is set for off, but it can be set anywhere between 1 and 30 amperes. And if the current exceeds the value, it'll also cause it an alarm condition. Right now that alarm is turned off. Same for the uh, next function, which is the battery alarm. The battery alarm function can be set anywhere from 0 to 20 amps and also will alarm if there is a negative current flow from the battery to the alternator to indicate a problem. The next function here is a return one level function. This will bring you back to menu level one. And there's the double return which is a return to menu level zero or the main operating mode of the instrument. Again, we can step through the different functions. To get to the next level, or the next menu level, menu level 3, again, you hold the button in for 5 seconds. You're now in menu level 3. This is a calibration menu. The first function is a calibration of the voltage. The voltage can be calibrated at 10 volts and at 20 volt data points. The next uh, set of data points that can be entered in the calibration menu is a zero point for the Hall Effect current sensor, a zero point for the shunt, a positive 50 millivolt uh, data point for the shunt, and a negative 50 millivolt data point for the shunt. And again, this is for the first uh, current sensor or shunt for uh, the system. The next set of uh, data points is for the second shunt or sensor. And again, the same uh, data points can be entered. A sensor zero point, a shunt zero point, a shunt 50 millivolt point, and a shunt negative 50 millivolt point. Again, we have a return one level. This would bring you back to menu level two, or a return to main function, which is what we'll do right now. And that concludes the uh, quick demonstration of the menus and functions for the ESM100.